So you want to change your domain name into hosted, but I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. There's the two things before you need to take in mind. If you want to change an actual domain from a current website, let's say, assume for example, that you go directly here into my website builder. In this case, it's going to be the sites.google.com. Now in here, what I want to do is to change my current domain, which in this case is going to be the www.textpressvideos.online. I want to change this from the other that I do have available into hosting. Now, the thing is that if you wanted a course to change or if you wanted to change from one domain into another one, the first thing you want to do is to give up this domain so you can purchase another domain. If you wanted to, let's say, for example, choose this domain that you already have purchased it, go into manage here into hosting, there's actually no way of how you can just go and change the name from another one. What you can do directly into Hostinger is that you can change the actual domain when you create an actual website. With that being said, let's see how we can actually change correctly our domain. So first of all, what I wanted to do is to go into my domain overview. Now that we have choose the renewal disabled because I don't want to no longer pay for this domain, I wanted to contact the actual Hostinger so we can tell them that we wanted just to delete this actual Hostinger domain so we can purchase a new one. Once the actual process is now successfully done, then what I wanted to do is to go directly into domains. And here in domains, I'm going to focus into adding a new one. Let's go into get a new domain. And here I'm going to choose my desired domain name. Let's go for tech express now and go for a search. Inside here, I can see that there's a lot of alternatives that I can choose. Sometimes there are a few that are two for free, only one dollar by a domain. There's a little bit more. So I'm going to choose one of them. Then later on, I'm going to go for buy the domain. Now that you have the domain that we've been sold, it, then let's focus into domain so we can change the DNS settings. If you focus here into the text press of the Google Sites, you might be noticing that this um, URL is no longer working. So I'm going to go for add. And I'm going to do exactly the same process than when I'm adding this new URL. So it's going to be telling you that you need to verify the ownership. So that's the reason why we need, of course, to add uh, this new C name, DNS verification records. In my case, it's going to be asking me for TXTN or it's going to be a C name. So I needed to provide all of this information directly inside Hosting it. To do that, let's go into Hosting it once again. Let's go into the domains that you have already been purchased. Go into manage your domain, go to DNS name servers, and here you want to add the new record that was provided from the actual website builder that you currently add. So in my case, it's going to be a C name. I go for my C name, my C name destination target. I copy all this information and I paste it directly into Google site. Once I have successfully done, then I'm going to go into next and my domain should be connected in no time. After that, what you want to do is to just import the new website that you have just created, that you have to purchase it with the actual hosting, and try it out if this actual website is working for you. If the website still does not appear, so that means that your URL might be needing a little bit more, for example, like an hour or two, whatever. So that is how, guys, we can actually change from one domain into another from Hostinger. Basically, what we do here is to give up our current domain so we can purchase another one in order to use it into our new website builder creator. We are not changing directly from an actual URL. We are actually making another purchase and trying to get the refund for the previous one. That's the only way how we can actually change from one domain into another one and the hosting so far. So if you find another solution, you can let us know into the comments below. But if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see some amazing tools of the hostinger and so much more directly into Express. With all of that being said, hopefully we can also see you to a brand new section of Express. See you next time.